Hey, what's up guys? See boys pilot 2k7 back with another Grand Auto 5 video today We are here in Grand Auto 5 and we're gonna be taking a look at the Kosu Kolos mod But as you guys can see we are not gonna be playing as the Coast Guard today We are gonna be playing as the Los Santos fire department. They actually have a new boat So we're gonna be checking it out and um, taking it out and see if we could do some calls with it as well So if you guys do enjoy this episode do me a favor go ahead and smash that like button Leave some comments down below and subscribe if you are new if you guys have no idea what coastal call house is definitely check out the links in the video description you can learn a little bit more about it plus you you could get early access to it as well since it still is in a open beta there so let's carefully yes yes we did it let's carefully try to get on a boat without falling into the water um and then, yeah, this is pretty much, let me get back to the front so you guys can see it. This is the Los Santos Fire and Rescue Boat. It does have three working water cannons, which is pretty cool. We have two on the front that we can actually um, use, and then one on the top. Uh, we have flags on it as well. We have a radar circling around. We have, um, uh, what are those things again? I always forget the name of them. Uh, the life float. The flotation things I always forget the name of on top as well and a lot of other equipment very very cool boat here so let's go ahead and take a look at it um, we're gonna go ahead and head inside very nice interior here as well so what we're gonna do is go to the uh, seat here we're gonna go ahead and get in and let's unstore this thing let's take this thing out guys and see how it is so this is something you guys probably never seen in the Grand Theft Auto 5 world. So hopefully you guys do enjoy it here today. So let's take a look at it. Um, we will get a partner with, with us as well to uh, man the water cannons if we get any like fire calls or anything like that. But let's just take a look at it for now. Go ahead and turn the lights on. Turn the siren off so you can see the lights. Looks pretty cool. We may have to make it nighttime to see it a little bit better there. And then I believe, do we have spotlights too on this? I forgot if we have the spotlights on this one. Let's um, go ahead and head up there. Let me see if I can get up there without falling off here. Maybe we should be able to just jump up. Oh. There we go. So, there you go. There you can see the light bar there. So, yeah, this is the lights I was trying to show you guys. So, that's pretty cool. It looks really awesome at night as well. And um, got the life preservers here, which is pretty awesome. Not life preservers, life rafts. That's the name. Wait, is that? I can't remember what's inside of these things. It's like um, it's not a lifeboat, but it's something. I gotta look and see. I forgot the name of it. Actually, let me see something. Oh, it is a life raft. So yeah, it's a life raft barrel, basically. That's the name of it. So let's go ahead and jump down here. I'm going to show you guys how this works. So if you go up to either one of these, you go ahead and man these water cannons, which is pretty cool. And you can actually spray water from here as well. So if you get two uh, partners, you could uh, control up to three water streams, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that looks pretty cool so again you could control each one and I'll show you guys a big master stream on top the master stream you cannot control you kind of just have to like face towards the fire and I'll show you guys that here in a second I'm also looking forward to the new EUP update not sure when that will be but I did see they have some cool uh, marine uniforms for the fire department so definitely looking forward to that I just kind of improvised this uniform here since I don't have access to that yet all right, so that's the big master stream up there. Which looks pretty cool, and this could actually put out fires too. So if we could, if we get like a fire that's like near the shore that we could respond to, we could try to get some water on it. So let's head out and let's see what we get into today, guys. Very very cool boat here. Again, huge shout outs to PNW Parks fan for all of his work that he's doing here in Coastal Callouts.
Hi right, guys, so we have our crew as you guys can see. Got two guys in the front and we also have a couple guys on the inside with us as well, which is pretty cool. So like I was saying, we got two guys in the front, they could shoot those two cannons, plus I could shoot the third cannon over here, so looks pretty nice. Uh -oh. Attention all Coast Guard units, we've got a fire alarm on a yacht off the east coast. Okay, so we're getting a call here. It looks like we have a fire on a boat here. Let's go ahead and respond to that. Alright, so distress signal is reported. 13 people are on board, so we may have to possibly evacuate. The boat, depending on if we're able to put the fire out and contain the fire in time or not. Alright, so it looks like it's going to be on the other side of the port area here. It may take us a little while to get there. Alright, so we got our crew ready. Everybody's ready. Then we have another. Yeah, we got two more guys back there. And we got our two guys in the front here. Oh shoot, I can see the smoke, guys. I can see the smoke. Alright, so we definitely do have a confirmed fire, guys. We definitely do have a confirmed fire. Alright, I could just about see the yacht. It looks like it's going to be a white yacht. Straight ahead, guys. Looks like the fire is going to be coming out of the rear there. Fire is going to be in the rear. Oh, shoot. I thought I heard a siren. He nearly pit him into the water there. You guys saw that? GTA, man. AI pursuits. Oh. One time I accidentally shot a bird like when I was testing this out a couple weeks ago. It was an accident. It was kind of funny. Alright, so we're just about there, guys. Alright, guys, so we're going to go ahead and try to make our entryway right here towards the rear. Looks pretty awesome. Alright. And let's go ahead and just anchor our boat just like this. And let's go ahead and get ready to fight this fire, guys. So I'm going to leave my crew here on board. You guys stay here. And I'm going to go ahead and make our way over. We're going to have to switch our clothes here. So let's go ahead and put some personal protection gear on here. Just put out basic turnout gear and let's try to make our way onto the ship here, guys. All right, you guys stay here, okay? I'm going on. All right, we're gonna go inside. Oh, we got a lot of smoke in here, guys. All right, before we actually do this, RIP, my partner. <laughs> before we actually do this, though, let me. Talk to the captain first, so let's head up here. Alright, got some people in here. You guys okay? Everybody's okay? I right, got six, seven people in here. Alright, let's talk to the captain. Uh, what's up, Captain? So we can talk to him. All of our alarms are going off and we got heavy smoke coming from the engine room. Okay. My technician and I are here trying to keep control of the system from the bridge. The other crew members outside at the muster area 
to keep the passengers calm. We haven't been able to check all the rooms downstairs. Please check every room to make sure the guests are evacuated to the muster area. Uh, there are a total of 13 people on board, including us and the rest of the crew. You have to count how many already assembled and then find the rest. After you finish checking the rooms, please go down, please go down to the engine room and see if you can put out the fire. There are plenty of fire extinguishers in the engine room. Thank you for the help. Good luck. Captain is no longer speaking to you. <laughs> okay, guys. So we are going to go ahead and head back down. So we got two people in here, and I think we have six down here already. Let's double check. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people here. Captain and en engineer makes nine. Um, so we still got to find four more people, guys. So this is a muster area. That's basically where you go in the event of an emergency on a boat. So um, nine people are in the correct location. We still have four more people we have to look for, guys. So let's go ahead and see if we get down here and start searching for those missing people. Okay, it's extremely... It's extremely smoky in here, guys. Let's see if we can find everybody. I'm gonna search the lower level first. So we're looking for four people, guys. Hey, sir, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! Alright, we're gonna get this guy. Sir, anybody else in this room with you? I <laughs> just pushed him down. I right, just kind of search. Okay, we got to get you to the muster area, okay? We got a fire alarm going on, sir. Could, did you not hear the alarm? just want to make sure nobody else is in here while I'm doing this. All right. So let's get them up to the muster area. So we still got three more people we got to find, guys. Three more. Oops. Get a little bit of frame rate loss here. Do apologize about that. Alright, so you could just stay here, sir. I always do that. I'll be forgetting which one I grabbed them with. Alright, so I got three more people we gotta look for, guys. Let me just double check something here really quickly. Okay, we're good. All right, so we still gotta find three more people, guys. So we check this first room here. Let's go to the second room. All right, nobody's in here. Oh, hello. How you doing, ma'am? Um, I gotta help you out. We gotta get out of here, okay? We gotta go ahead and get out of here. Damn. Can you put a can you put a shirt or anything on, ma'am? I don't think everybody wanna see that. Maybe some people want to see that, but we're not allowed to show that anymore. Okay? Well, we never were allowed to show that, but they're really they're really strict about showing this type of stuff, ma'am. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, let's get her out. All right, ma'am, I'm gonna stay right here. Okay, ma'am, don't move. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find you a uh, uh, top. Okay. So we got two more people we gotta look for. I'm going to do another search in this room because it's kind of hard to see. So she was in here. Bedroom's clear. Closets are good. Nobody else is on this side of the room. Okay. Alright, I see her bra. Let me go ahead and pick her bra up. Perfect, and we'll get that to her. Oh my god, it's two of you guys in here. Come on, guys, wake up. So I think these are the last two people we're going to be looking for. Come on, ma'am. I wish I could grab both of them at the same time. Yeah, I can't. All right, ma'am, you're coming with me. All right, well, at least they were all in the same location. 
All right, you stay with her. You guys stay together. We're going to buddy system, okay? Both of you guys stay here. Let's go grab the last guy. And I think that's everybody that's on board. We're going to have to do another check just to make sure. Come on, sleepyhead. Let's go. Let's go. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, buddy. So we got him. I keep doing that. All right. Let's see if we get some uh, clothes on this lady here. Keep this episode somewhat clean here. All right. Everybody, close your eyes, guys. Close your eyes. Whoops. <laughs> All right. Let's be serious, guys. This is a fire going on. You got to be serious. That's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do either. She doesn't have anything. I thought we could put a shirt on her. Crap. Okay, well, I was trying to help her out, but I guess she's just going to be completely naked here, apparently. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Perfect. All right, let me know, guys, which one looks better with the top? Well, we got to change the color. Got to make it match. There we go. With the top or without the top? Which one was better, guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. All right. We got to get everybody out of here. So uh, topless number one. Go ahead and come with me. I wish I could tell the rest of them to just follow me. Or if I could just, like, grab all of them somehow. All right. Let's get her in here. We're going to have to do another check. Make sure that everybody's here. And, of course, we keep doing that. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And we still gotta actually fight the fire, guys. Oh, sorry. Ladies first. You could follow me if you want, though. <laughs> I'm like all over the place trying to run. Alrighty. All right, let's grab that last guy. Everybody's here. Let's do a quick check. So we got two people on the bridge. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Okay, so we have found everybody. Now we gotta work on uh, putting the fire out, guys. So let's go ahead and head down there. And we're gonna work on getting the fire out now, guys. That hot tub is extremely hot right now with this fire boiling below it. Alright, let's get it down here. Alright, so we're going to have to pick up some of these fire extinguishers. It's extremely smoky down here, guys. Uh, I forgot what button it was to pick this stuff up. I haven't did this one in so long. Crap, I really forgot what button this was. Oh, there we go. We just got to get next to it. Okay, good. All right, where's the fire? Looks like the fire is going to be right over here, guys. So we got to put this out. Yeah, this fire is pretty bad here. It's flaring up. Oh, that was pretty good. Okay, oh, fire has been extinguished. So this smoke should start to uh, 
clear out here in a little while. Very, very cool. So it looks like nobody else is down here, which is awesome. Just want to make sure. So we're going to go ahead and head upstairs. We'll let the captain know the good news. And then we will go ahead and get out of here. So the smoke should start uh, uh, getting lighter here in a moment. I don't think I have to talk to him again. I'm just going to go in here anyway. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else to say. Alright, so he's good. Fire is going to be under control. Once we end it, um, the fire or the smoke should actually stop. So let's go ahead and end it now. Whenever I end the call out and it's like, are you sure you want to end it? I feel like I didn't finish it properly. But the fire was out. Let's just do one more check to make sure. Yeah, there's no more fire down here. None of the rest of the stuff is on fire. Oh, wait, no. Thought it cleared up. Yeah, none of the rest of this area is on fire. So the fire is definitely out. We are going to go with the under control. We go ahead and end the call. And that clears the fire, guys. So we have taken care of business here.